Whova is not just for face-to-face -face conferences and expos. Recently, we have helped thousands of event organizers transition to virtual and hybrid events. To support all types of events, Whova provides both a web and mobile app to encompass all attendees with a smooth session streaming and video experience. Whova also helps with your event engagement, networking, sponsors and exhibitors, management, and more. To help stream the sessions to remote attendees, Whova integrates with Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, GoToMeeting, and other various live stream services, and it also allows you to conveniently add videos from Vimeo, YouTube, Dailymotion, Wistia, and others, as well as Whova's own video hosting. With the integration, you can easily create and manage your online sessions within one place and conveniently remind and engage your attendees and speakers. Whether your attendees are remote or in-person, they can actively participate in your event through live polls and live Q&A, and also through a discussion board, and they can also digitally network with each other even before the event starts. So Whova offers both a mobile event app and a web app. The web app is designed for laptop and desktop browsers, so your remote attendees can conveniently watch presentations on a bigger screen. The mobile app is especially convenient for in-person attendees to use during the event and when you're on the go due to its mobility. Both mobile and web app have all the features. Let's start with the web app, which you can access from a laptop. It'll be convenient for the attendees to be able to watch the stream on a bigger screen. In the event agenda, sessions that have live stream or videos are marked with this video icon. Then clicking into the session, Attendees can join the live stream or watch the recorded video. You can easily set these up through the Whova dashboard. For example, if you are using Zoom, you can create a Zoom session directly within Whova. If you have a pre-recorded video, Whova provides 3 gigabytes of free storage and you can directly upload your videos without having to go back and forth with other platforms. As the app doesn't reveal a URL to both your live stream and videos, you don't have to worry about unwanted access from strangers. Your attendees cannot forward the link to any other person who didn't register for your event. When you click on the live stream option, your attendees can directly watch your speakers talk without needing to leave Whova. Not only does it create a seamless experience, but it also keeps your event engaging and interactive. Both in-person and remote attendees can join the session activities together so no one will feel left out. We have a live Q&A feature attendees can use to post their questions before and during the session, and they'll also see questions from other attendees and have the option to upvote them. Speakers and moderators can then select the ones to answer, and they can also pin up the popular questions at the top and hide any inappropriate ones. With the session poll feature, you can create an engaging question and collect votes before or during a session. It greatly enhances audience participation and helps your speakers get real-time feedback. It's easy to browse through the list of questions and join the conversations with other attendees and speakers even after the session is over. And with Whova's real-time analytics, you can see who is watching the video and how long they've watched it. You can also send out a reminder with the click of a button to increase participation. Now with the web app, the attendees can see the speakers and fellow attendees listed there, but using a mobile app will be much more convenient for in-person attendees, or if you're remote, maybe when you leave your desk to do a couple stretches, and simply for virtually hanging out with others. So here on the mobile app, attendees can click into the speaker profiles, check out their bio, other information, and also take a note. You can also view all the session information on the mobile app, including the live stream and videos. If your event is hybrid, it's important to differentiate your hybrid audience as their event experience will differ from each other. Whova's hybrid audience settings allows you to create separate channels for both the in-person and remote attendees to easily manage them and more. For example, if you made changes to your online stream links, you can choose to send an announcement to notify only your remote attendees. Or if you have a post-event banquet only for your in-person attendees, you can make the session visible only to them. Now let me show you how Whova can make a virtual or hybrid event interactive. One of the organizers and attendees' favorite is Whova's community board. Here, attendees can check organizer announcements easily, 
please note that your announcements can be made through an email, a push notification, and the web app all at the same time, so it will be very effective to update and engage your attendees. Your attendees can ask you any questions, self-organize in-person or virtual meetups, and start conversations with fellow attendees. Clicking into a topic, you will see attendees get together, discuss common interests, and share useful information. Or, they can enjoy virtual or in-person meetups with a cup of coffee. If it's a virtual event, attendees can create a video meeting with Google Meet or Zoom, put the link here, and invite people to virtually hang out with. Attendees can also create in-person meetups to hang out together in an in-person or hybrid event. For attendees who don't have a video conferencing account, they can use Whova's own video chat feature to directly create a video meeting within Whova. Up to 30 people can join each video meeting through both the mobile and web app. Attendees of recent virtual and hybrid events have really enjoyed Whova's convenient and fun way to interact with one another, creating a lot of conversations even before the event started. Another cool feature of the community board is the article sharing. Speakers, organizers, and any attendee can conveniently share web articles by simply providing a URL. The app then shows a slick preview of the article, and it's a nice way to engage your attendees even before the event. The community board is available on the web app too, and it makes it easy to explore all the conversation topics, meetups, and others, just like the mobile app. Now let's take a look at Whova's live poll. It's a fun way to make your event more interactive, and it's available on both the mobile and web app. Besides the general polls that are open for the whole event, the organizers and speakers can also create session-specific polls. It's useful to boost your attendees' participation before an event begins, and also to collect instant feedback during the event and the sessions from both in-person and remote attendees. Going one step further, you can gamify your event with a fun contest and a leaderboard that everyone can easily participate in. These features have helped naturally involve more attendees and lighten up many events. Attendees can easily share their photos and leaderboard rankings on social media, which will help you spread the word about your event. Attendee engagement and networking is the number one strength of our Whova platform. Now, as we mentioned earlier, attendees can also see who else is attending and plan their networking ahead of time. Whova's matchmaking recommends attendees to connect based on common background and interests, so the attendees can easily identify whom to talk with and what to talk about. Then they can use our one-on-one -on -one messaging to connect with one another. It's hard for people to approach strangers to say hi, even at a face-to-face -face event. Whova's icebreakers help attendees introduce themselves in a more personal way from funny questions like what fruit or vegetable would you most want to be to more professional ones such as what is your favorite book. This naturally spurs conversations and helps loosen unnecessary tension. With its fun and interactive breaking of the ice, it'll be a memorable experience for the attendees. Whova also provides one-on-one -on -one video chats so the attendees can easily speak face-to-face -face, just like they would at an in-person event. To bring a more fun and even better networking and interaction experience for the attendees, you can use the speed networking feature. In a speed networking session, the attendees are randomly assigned to a table of two to four people depending on the organizer's setup. After a specific period of time set by the organizer, the session automatically reshuffles. This creates a professional speed dating experience for the attendees and makes even the most introverted person meet others in an exciting way. It's not only useful for the remote attendees, but also very helpful for the in-person attendees to connect them to each other before and after the event or simply to keep social distancing. How about collecting feedback from your attendees? For this, you can use our survey feature, which once again is supported by both the mobile and the web app. Attendees can easily fill out the survey without leaving Whova, and you can directly send out reminders and monitor the real-time stats through Whova as well. For your sponsors, you have many great opportunities to highlight them through Whova. The mobile app shows sponsor ad banners in many places, including the home page, the agenda, and attendee profiles. 
The web app constantly displays sponsor ad banners at the top, which is a great exposure to your attendees. You can also add sponsors to particular sessions, such as keynotes or network sessions. Sponsors can also set up their profiles with interesting materials just like a physical sponsor booth. They can add videos, a live stream, marketing content, and photos to draw attention and interact with attendees through a chat. Similarly, if you have exhibitors, the digital exhibit hall is an essential place for your participants to create business opportunities. Here, exhibitors can set up their digital booth with the product video and promotional offers like coupons and giveaways. Once attendees sign up for a deal or redeem a coupon, exhibitors will immediately receive information of the attendees and be able to follow up through private messaging or a group chat. Attendees can navigate the digital exhibit hall through their mobile app as well. They can conveniently check out the product demo live stream, ask questions, and sign up for deals. Exhibitors will receive the lead information and be able to export it from Whova at any time. With the digital exhibit solution, you can keep your exhibitors happy and help them get the most out of your event. If you are organizing a career fair, you can enable hiring companies to showcase their videos, hold live streams, and receive resumes through the mobile and web app. Job seekers can easily explore available positions and apply for a job by submitting application forms and the resumes directly through the apps. If you want to do a dry run before the event, Whova enables you to create rehearsal sessions. You can invite specific groups of people like the speakers so they'll know how it works in advance. Others will not see the rehearsal sessions from the agenda. Whova also supports attendee tiers. You can limit access to certain sessions or video replays to a specific group of attendees, such as VIP ticket holders. This helps you design tiered packages for different attendees. Are you hosting small-scale presentations, such as poster sessions, startup pitches, or an art gallery in your event? You can use Whova's Artifact Center. Besides displaying all the materials of each item, such as a presentation video, documents, and pictures, it also allows you to add judges or let attendees vote for them. Now for any event, to avoid any risk of liability, you may have your attendees sign a liability waiver form, and with Whova's online waiver form feature, you can use it for just that and other purposes such as a media release form or parental approval for youth events. You can easily create an online waiver form through the Whova dashboard that your attendees can quickly view and fill out from their computers and on the mobile app, and submit it with a simple click of a button. And at the check-in site, through Whova's check-in feature that you can access on both mobile and computer, you can verify if they submitted the form, and if not, they can fill it out on their app before completing the check-in. We offer our customers a comprehensive virtual and hybrid event checklist to help them prepare well ahead of time. We've also built many useful guides, such as an emergency handling guide, a Zoom setup guide, and ones explaining how to use all the features of Whova. If you'd like to check them out, please contact your Whova account manager. Now, Whova has been leading many in-person, virtual, and hybrid events to considerable success, and hopefully these steps will help you envision how your event can also be interactive and productive. Here we can see over a thousand attendees at the California Entrepreneurship Educators Conference that created almost 300 discussion topics and sent 9,700 messages. They had over 80 virtual meetups, and a majority of the attendees enjoyed using it for networking. The Birmingham Homeschool Fair made their sponsors and exhibitors extremely happy. The sponsor banners were viewed more than 10,000 times by their attendees, and their exhibitors generated 355 leads through Whova's digital exhibit hall. Attendees created 1,700 discussion topics to share information and network with one another, and had much fun with the photo contest sharing almost 400 photos. Here's another example with the Large Women Leadership Conference. The sponsor banners were constantly viewed by attendees for over 24,000 times, and documents such as presentation slides were directly accessed through Whova more than 800 times, making the organizer's job much easier. Both the organizers and attendees like Whova so much, they plan to use it again for the next two conferences. 
Many international research conferences and university events also successfully moved many elements online with Whova. Here we have some IEEE conferences listed. They typically have many sessions and sponsors, and we're glad that Whova could help the organizers conveniently manage their agenda online, upload hundreds of documents, and highlight sponsors with ease. At the Texas FCC LA State Leadership Conference, here we can see over 2,600 attendees, 600 of which were remote, with over 600 discussion topics and 12,000 messages sent. They had over 180 meetups, 100 in person, and 80 virtual, and majority of the attendees enjoyed using it for networking. And here are what organizers had to say about Whova. I was able to go into the agenda, quickly add recorded videos. Attendees were actually able to watch the videos and then comment and ask questions. And our speakers were able to be right there to answer questions just like they would in a workshop. So that was wonderful. And then of course our community board, that is what kept us all connected throughout the day. We had uh, over 2000 messages. There were lots of virtual meetups that were set up that people were even, even saying, hey, I've, I've set this Google Hangout up here come meet us here so we had lots of different ways and venues that people quickly uh, connect here i was so thankful because i cannot express how many tips they send me and my uh, rep i was able to quickly email her she quickly emailed me back so i will have to say that Huva, as far as customer service they were on top of it and were ready to help us so within our exhibit hall, we ended up with about 54 exhibits live and then an additional six that were virtual only, and they all could communicate with everybody, um, both in person and virtual. To help the in-person and the virtual audiences coincide. For one, the community boards were great. So we actually held um, registration opening until about a week before, because as soon as we unlocked that, we had people jumping in, asking questions. The icebreakers were fantastic. We have a ton of community boards from different um, people, both virtual and in person, who were just asking questions about their um, respected field and from their peers. So that worked out really well. We did incorporate the um, photo contest and actually one of our virtual attendees ended up winning that contest, which was fun because we got to announce it in person and then send out the prize. Making sure that people could still make connections because the biggest takeaway from the event is networking. And so when you're not actually face to face with people, that's really tough. And so using Whova to really push out who the speakers are, who the attendees are, encouraging people to take those to the discussion boards on the app and still be able to make good connections, even if you can't be there in person. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. And so I think that if you just follow the tips that are already built in, with Whova and just maximize everything that you all already offer, all the tools that you need are right there. So just use them, take a deep breath, and you should be okay. Now you can create an exciting virtual or hybrid event with Whova too. Simply let us know and we'll be more than happy to help.